Hi guys, good morning for the few that showed up. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I gave it time to send out more notifications, but I do know some people are saying they're not getting them. So, um, I don't know if they see this and they actually watch or want to watch, um, make sure that you, um, you know, do your, uh, redo your notifications. Um, sometimes, um, that helps me when I'm not getting notifications, but, um, it's pretty embarrassing. Well, I'll say that, but, um, but my, my buddies are here, so I guess that's what counts. Right? Right. Let's roll. Okay. Good morning, Yolanda. Oh, wow. That was at four something this morning. I'm not sure if she's still even here, but not still, but here again. Um, and yeah, DC's spooky eyebrows are a good example for today's topic something i don't know what the hell happens when she gets her brows done um charlie girl says and yes i am drinking my diet coke i have already drank plenty of water so i'm allowed i'm allowed okay mm -hmm. queen cat lady my my uh sharp tongued uh buddy there Yes, and whoop, whoop, the, uh, the drunken pigeon, um, Boomer Jill is back. Yes, I am. I was back, what was it, yesterday, I, no, I'm sorry, Friday I came back. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do this weekend, um, I didn't have the best of, but I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there, okay? So just stick stick by me. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, perfume Addict. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Because of my job and business, I could tell you some hilarious stories of surgeries gone wrong. Mm. I would love to hear. Um... Glad you are feeling better, Jill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you know, the thing is, I don't like, like, where I put in the title about bad aging. There's a reason that was there. It's because it was um, one of the, the things that we're going to see is what the what what people call like celebrities who aged really bad like badly and you know you have to you know I, I don't like that word that's why i put it in quotes i i'll tell you in a minute you know i just don't not everybody ages the same there's genetics there's all kinds of things Let's see, who do we got? Uh, uh, Lisa, take it or leave it. Thank you for being here, Lisa. It means a lot. I believe you me. Um, Anonymous Patriot, good morning to you too. And plug it, oh God, plug it. Per, um, uh, <laughs> Anonymous, plug it, plug it. Diet Coke, right. Frenette, how are you, honey? Oh, there's my huge ass and my Our Lady. How are you guys? Thanks for being here. Miss Hussy, uh, you're here too, Charlie girl. You're listening at work. I appreciate, I do. I really do. And my uh, cahoots. Are you guys working in cahoots? Our lady, I saw, I just saw before when I got to go through, I saw the, the compilation, there's some compilation or something, I gotta look at it, of yours, Our Lady, God, 
<laughs> You're gonna trap that woman. Well, she's already batshit, so I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, don't worry, she'll she'll say some good words uh, during swamp. Oh no, no swamp magic. That's right. Uh, God, she's completely out of her what's left of her mind. There, um, there are some who let it all go to hell as they age, like Swamp Hog Barb. Ah! I'm gonna probably do some, do a, do something. I'll take a look at some of our ladies' videos. <laughs> um, for Nat and Hussy and, uh, Ma Marion, did I say hi to you? I don't remember saying it. Mary, hello, Marion and Bays. Good morning. Um, anyway, so it's a small one. I, I swear, you take a break, a small break, and it's like, oh my God, they they really, um, you know, go nuts. You know, I remember uh, some time ago. Um, oh, is that what it is, perfume addict? Ah, fried with morphine. Oh, Lord. Ah, swamp donkey. Oh, my God. I love it. Love it. We got, we got to do some over here. I got to, um, I have to, uh, conference with, um, my barb, uh, woman, my Our Lady. Um, anyway. Hi, Scarlet Biz. I'm glad to see you here. Um, yeah, so we got a, we got a, a little one going, and that that's fine. I, this is for fun, so what whatever. So here we go. Um, okay, so I had something set up, and I'll probably still do that. Also, guys, I'm working on a true crime. It's just I'm listening to a podcast on this crime and um it's you know taken me a while to get through it um so uh, you know just give me a little time and i'm trying to i'm trying to find then after that i gotta try to find some stuff about it to put up on the screen at least you know she's super trick oh god what have you done let's see She's super triggered because I referred to her faking a stroke for attention as her, quote, teasing that she was finally going across the rainbow bridge. Oh, my God. <laughs> Out of curiosity, the word rainbow bridge, did that come from you or is it a word she uses? Just, just curious. She said it's not something to look forward to. <laughs> God help us. Um, Hussey, we got we got to get together on here soon on on one of our thing uh, channels. I'm I already just feel it in my bones. Um. It's a thing people say, Jill, keep up. Well, I guess I'm not people then, our lady. What do you want from me, huh? Huh? You're always wanting me to be people. There's my girl. I was just thinking about you. Um, yes, uh, I wanted to keep saying yesterday, but it was, my days are blending, I swear. It's terrible. Um, it's good to see you. I missed you in the in when the on the one I came back. Um, how are you? I hope you're well. Oh, and thank you. Um, that was that's a nice comment. Okay, Hus, Husser, Husser. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's a very interesting uh, true crime story. Hey, that Amber chick, especially if you like like good, you know, good stories, um, interesting, mystery, um, cover-ups, stuff like that, mm-hmm, I like, you know, 
I thought to myself as I started listening and got started to get into it, I'm like, I bet you guys, my true crime people, would really like that. Um, our lady, uh, don't, uh, <laughs> I don't want my cats there. Aww. <laughs> but she belongs in hell. I got to, I got to. Yeah, she's not going over any rainbow bridge. Her bridge is a different color. I had to watch the replay. Oh, you did? Thank you. I actually slept that night. Ah! <laughs> That's right. You're in a totally different time zone. I just forgot which one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so anywho, God, I'm back to saying anywho, it drives me and everyone around me nuts. Okay, so, um, pro probably, I like that, she will be, she will be live at one, probably, I love that, probably, <laughs> Thanks, thanks, our lady. Are you going to be in the chat? <laughs> Called something god-awful crazy. Okay. Oh, hey, Yolanda. Thank you for your comment. Um, when I first um, put it up, I appreciate that. That was nice. Um, all right. So what I don't, I had this thing set up that I was going to do this thing on filters. Um, there's this whole thing with Asian filters and it just, it, it's, it's crazy. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. And then I started seeing this other stuff on the, the uh, plastic surgery. Now, if you look at my uh, thumbnail, the one lady in the left-hand bottom corner, when you're looking at it, your, your left, um, that's the only one that's not the same person. Salty Peach, what's going on? You, you freaked me out with your different photo. But hey, um, oh, oh, okay, I thought you meant, okay, I got you, ah, it looks like you said live, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> does she, <laughs> Grandma Jill, you bitch, you, you, okay, everybody, our lady is a, mean I don't know I can't say anything bad about her she's too our lady <laughs> I don't know I'll think of something though to do all right um she just called me grandma Jill <laughs> okay great aunt <laughs> all right so it's good to see you salty peach and don't laugh I see that laughing emoji. Take that out. I, I never want to see it again. <laughs> oh, no. I sound nuts. All right. So, um, any anyway, um, I moved... <laughs> I moved to, um, like, there was some stuff about some celebrities who aged badly. Okay, like, pretty bad. And I thought, you know, well, let's see what, what's considered so bad, right? But then there's also, like, you know, the, the plastic surgery thing. Um, we're not uh, watching the whole, we're watching, like, uh, halfway in, then I'm starting that. Um... And the thing is, is that, um, you know, sometimes, 
I'm trying to think of the celebrity that totally kind of blew me away. I mean, let's let's be honest. I don't I don't know for sure, but when it comes to the aging badly, I know that they had put some men in, but I bet you there's more women than men. And there's one woman. Um, thank you, our lady. Thanks. I appreciate that. <gasps> Not my, that's my sound, our lady. Make her stop. Do whatever you have to do. <laughs> Just get it done. <laughs> get it done, damn it. All right. So, anyway. Um, oh no, a barb with, yeah, cat lady, be a bobcat and go on and, and make it stop. Meg Ryan, Meg Ryan, did she? Really? Oh, Meg Ryan. It's like, I look at these people and I think, my God, I almost wish I looked like them. And then they go and have all this crazy shit done to themselves. And also, the worst thing, cash app, oh. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Um, wait, thank you so much. I always forget that you can't do comments on here, but thank you. I really, like, really appreciate it, my little huge ass, my little huge ass. Does that make sense, guys? In Jill's world, guys, it does. It does. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I do. Um, okay. Moving along. Oh, Queen Cat Lady. Thank I love the emojis that you put in. I forgot to say I love those. You know that. Okay. All right. So. Anywho, um, I, I think, wow, well, my God, you were so good looking. Like, okay, I wish my upper lip was bigger. Hey, Freddie, how you doing? Um, Meg Ryan, Goldie Hawn. Oh, God, Priscilla Presley looks awful. And, and I, I'm going to say something totally off topic, but Priscilla Presley... I have no respect for whatsoever. With her Scientology ass, she had a daughter that needed help with substance abuse. And she just pulled up and dropped her off at the ridiculous, not real, um, so-called... Uh, substance abuse treatment Scientology way and what do you think ended up happening to her daughter she's no longer with us she passed away and now she's angry um, that's a whole nother topic though guys so moving along hey Kiwi how you doing um, I do too Yolanda Howdy, Jill and chat. Um, oh, you're not a bit. You, you're right on time. You still getting used to daylight saving time? Uh, did you? Do you guys do it on the same day as Americans do it? You know, sometimes when you look at something um, on uh, like online and the time, it'll say whatever time like and it'll say minus five minus five hours because they'll give you the Greenwich time and then they'll put minus five it's weird 
People do too much to their faces. I see it a lot. The filler makes them puff up too much. Mm -hmm. I saw a young woman, 25. Jesus, what? And, my, uh, and she had so much, she looked like a 45-year-old trying to be young. In the meanwhile, she was young. Uh, these people... And like I said in the last time about saving up for the Brazilian butt lifts, I mean, unreal. Oh, you changed it on Easter weekend. So we changed it a little before that, I think. Like the weekend before that, I believe. I hate it. I do. I don't like it staying light out late. When I was a kid, I refused to go to sleep. No one needs, uh, yeah, no one under 30 needs um, all that surgery. And, you know, also these filters are getting ridiculous because some people do it in a subtle way where it's not so obvious, like where the walls are curving and all this other shit. They're totally... Um, I'm aging like milk and I'm okay with it, Freddie. You're very loved, dear. And you know what? So, see right here? I got my little, my little laugh smile line. That's because that'll show you, hey, I've had happy times. You know what I'm saying? So what? Now, if it got completely out of control, yeah, I wish, but I'm a, I'd be afraid that, like, getting too much in the cheeks, like that one that um, uh, Salty Pete showed us, that woman, um, when that falls, oh, my God. As, as Hussey says, oh, my stars. I can't do it like him. Oh, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Okay. And anyway, Lisa's admitting to Botox, okay? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, no wonder. No, I'm just kidding. She also, um, you could just tell she still just looks damn, I mean, she's a beautiful woman, guys. If you've seen her pictures, like, on Twitter or whatever, she's a beautiful woman. I get Botox a few times a year, but I am super conservative. I want to look my age. The la well, honey, mm hmm get out. <laughs> the last time I went to the nurse looked like looked like everything I don't want my face to look like, and I had to tap her back. <laughs> what? What do you mean, tap her back? Um, uh, anyway, yeah. What earthquake? Salty Peach, are you playing with my head? Who Who's going to be watching the um, eclipse today? Not about to lie, I was in my late 40s. Oh my god. Lisa, I refuse to accept that comment. <laughs> what does that mean? I refuse to accept that. What the hell? I lost you. Look at this. Oh god. Not about to lie. Hey, um, Axelot, how are you? No, I wasn't there, Salty Peach. You're watching it in Michigan, huge ass. My 21-year-old daughter plans on watching the eclipse. Um, I know I'm supposed to get glasses for it, so I don't know. You've been doing it for 10. 
Oh, okay, Lisa, I get what you mean. You slowed down after seeing the nurse because that nurse probably had way too much done and looked like what you don't want to look like. Okay, I got you. Finally. Grandma Jill, as our lady said. All right, let's jump into this. I'm not sure it'll be noticeable here. We've had rainy weather lately, and it's supposed to continue. Well, remember April showers bring May flowers. Remember that old saying? Grandma Jill remembers. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you so does Beverage Farm. I don't know why I think that's so... Why I'm even laughing. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Now oh, shut up, Yolanda. <laughs> but, oh. You know what, Hugh Jass, in all seriousness, before I jump in, the thing is about the eyes. I'm obsessive about my under eyes, okay? Now, I do not alter my photos, okay? Sometimes they come out better in the certain lighting. I use a white light bulb. Um, somebody did not believe this, that my skin looked too smooth. Um, literally unsubbed and blocked me. This was like going back like last year. But the thing is, I was using the same primer I use now. Okay, it's pore filling and it works. Ask Fat Amber Chick, she'll tell you it works. Um, and also, you know, it, my makeup... It was it sits on for a bit before I'll take a photo because I like it to to settle completely, you know. So um, then it just this is how it, it comes out with the the lighting and that's it. Um, there's no, like now under my eyes there's little tiny fine lines. What I do is I use, um, you can do eye exercises to build muscle and fill. What am I supposed to do? Lift weights with my little eyelids? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You know I'm joking. Amber lurking. <laughs> Yolanda. Well, because she was like, there's no way. And I said, I've tried explaining to her what I do. And that's why the photo was taken. And bam. What I use. Okay, eye creams in a nutshell. They really are a scam. Unless. Two things. Unless you are. Always keep your under eyes hydrated. So that could just be with your. Um. <laughs> you were lucky. <laughs> I know. But you know what I mean. Like, you know, it does. It works. So, anyway, I I use my, my cream, my face cream, you know, like a good cream, and, and put it on. Um, I also make sure hyaluronic acid is used under my eyes. And, um... Once in a while, I use a certain um, patchology, one of their, their rosé. It's in my, it's, it's in my um, uh, community tab, if you scroll down. Also, um, Belinda, I recommended it to her. She loves, and she put it in her uh, Amazon storefront, so you can check that out. Um so the only eye cream I will ever I would ever recommend to people is if you have major discoloring, use something or or some discoloration, use um something with um 
I don't know, vitamin C or niacinamide, something like that. But um, for the fine lines, I use um, one with retinol in it, you know, at night and not every night, you know. So, um, and it, it, it works. You, you see a difference. I use, I can't believe we're talking about this. I use Neutrogena Aging Cream, Niacinamide, oh, Niacin, I'm sorry, same thing. And Neutrogena Daytime with Sunscreen. Mmm, nice. Yes, it is uh, Axolot. It's affordable and it's quite good. That's the uh, retinol one I use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have very dark, it's genetic, I just use a color corrector. I gotcha. I gotcha. A lot of it is, um, is like a scam, and it was actually a dermatologist that, um, told, said, ow, had told me that, um, you know, and I've also heard it, I thought, once on somewhere here on YouTube, they, they um, must not have been trying to sell um, eye cream. All right, let's go. Um, thank you guys for your, that information. Oh, I know, Lisa. Yes, let me put this up so everybody can make sure they read it. You got the snail stuff. It comes today. We're going to see how that goes. Ah! <laughs> I, I tried it. And it didn't. I, I don't know. It wasn't for me. Um, hmm, what is this? I think maybe something that adds to why someone or anything. Thank you. You are older than you are. Why? Oh, because I'm a boomer? Oh, fuck them. I have, I have pretty decent ass skin. I'm fortunate. Plus, I, you know, do what's best for it. And I'm pissed because I have, you can't really see it because I have a very light coating of um, makeup on. Um like real light um the hydrator from uh wet and wild it's actually really good believe it or not and um i have these like right on this side and on this side red from when i had covid and almost died unalived almost unalive sorry um and um, that pisses me off. But, you know, but thank you for saying that, our lady. And she was saying that it was because my skin looked too smooth. Well, what the hell do you want me to do about it? I was using decent makeup and good primer and good lighting. Damn, there it is. I have pores. All right, let's roll. Okay, we're going to, let's go to the celebrities who have supposedly aged badly first. Uh, no, let's go to, well, yeah, we'll go there. Um, but on my thumbnail, just so you know, other than with the woman with the cheeks falling down in the left corner, bottom, the other people are the same person, okay? All three of the other pictures are the same person. And if you look at that thumbnail, there's a blonde girl on the bottom that is the same person as the above, okay? All right, let's do this. Um can't decide which one I want to do first. God, I have so many damn windows open. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay, great. They have some. No, they don't. Mm. 
All right, let's do celebrities first. All right. I have no idea who that is. To, I have no idea. And why can't I make this bigger? Oh, oh. oh yeah. With a paler complexion and bright blonde hair, the rapper appeared. In Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson is the quintessential blonde bombshell. Sorry, I didn't have she became an icon in the 1990s as the Playmate of the Month for Playboy magazine. Pamela holds the record for the most Playboy covers. Famous for her role as CJ Parker in the action drama series Baywatch, Pamela's association with the red bathing suit became legendary in Hollywood. Although she retired the swimsuit in 2001, a brief return in the 2017 movie Reboot showcased oh, that she right, still had the allure that You're defined right. her awesome. career. While Pamela has continued her successful Hollywood journey, the natural aging process has inevitably left its mark at the age of 53. And many say it's not treating her well. Recent paparazzi images reveal the lines on her face, reflecting a life filled with the adventures of the entertainment industry. Despite this, I would never in a million years think that that was Pamela Anderson. Like, literally, if I was sitting right next to her, I would never know. I mean, never. But people age. Now, remember, I, I've said this pre previously. In this day and age with the social media and everybody went, Hey, damn it, Amber. Damn it, Amber. You're late. No, I'm just joking. I had to say something that went with, damn it. Um, well, I, so what, what it happens is uh, I would never have known it was her, you know, but... I, I think she ends up looking nicer, even nicer, though. But, you know, they put so much pressure on them, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm sorry. Plus, exactly Axelot, and she wasn't wearing makeup, uh, I don't think. No, just some lip stuff, yep. And, um, oh, wait, Judy Boudé, Judy Boudé. Judy Boudé! Judy Boudé! Come on, you know I had to say it, right? Okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> she is over her previous persona, and she sees herself beyond that now. Mm, where'd you go? Oh. So she stopped wearing makeup after her. Really? Wow! Damn. Well, like I was saying, you know, in our day um, coming up, well, Pam Anderson is older than I am, but like still before social media, um, when it came to sunscreen, we own or protection from the sun, all that, we, um, we actually... Uh, we put it on, or like most of us, I don't want to say all because, it, you know, but most of us, myself included, um, I'm fast-skinned and all that, and I would put it on when I went to the beach, you know, um, and it's just, or going to be, uh, you know, in the pool for hours, and I would reapply and all that, you know. But on an average day, no, I didn't. I didn't protect myself from the sun, you know. And a lot of people didn't really protect themselves. They laid out. They laid out with those, what are the, yes, yes, like what, what Lisa here um yeah, it was TCVY, our lady. <laughs> it was TCVY. 
<laughs> I <laughs> I our lady says, didn't you have an ice cream store incident? Yes, I did. I um mistook uh I was with a friend who, by the way, was um Italian and olive skin, darker skin. I you know, and I'm I was so fair, I mean, it was ridiculous. And so she would put tanning stuff on, but she um, had also grabbed, uh, when she went to the store, she had grabbed sunblock for me. And um, she was like resting, laying out. I came out of the water and I was going to, you know, lay there, but I was going to, um, you know, put the sunblock on. And I accidentally put the tanning stuff on because it was, you know, um, thick. It wasn't like a, an oil, you know. And let's just say I, the next day and stuff, I had sun poisoning. And I was trying to walk out of a TCBY and fell into a whole table full of people. Oh, God, it was embarrassing. And um, emergency room and all that. <laughs> so, I never made that. I had second and third degree burns. I and I had bought a new car and it was ready to be picked up. And it was like a while later, and I still couldn't like really move my legs around. It was an job. Make a list of motives. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But, yeah, we didn't. So, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, <laughs> I'm glad you're a muse perfume addict. Um, very fair, Bandit. Oh, hello. Good morning. Imagine Jill mixing them up. That's weird. Oh, shut up, Queen Cat Lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It was I was burnt to a crisp stick of fork. I was done. Okay. All right. So, like Lisa said, people used to lay back. You know, it, like she said, she used oh God, baby oil and fried her her skin. Back in the 70s. Oh my lord. My lord. Ugh. But you know. I would see people. Um, I don't remember our lady. Honestly. I, I can't really remember. Truth, truth be told. It was so long ago. I don't remember. My tan red anonymous patriot. Hi Sarah, how are you, honey? Oh my god. Because there wasn't one. She well, I do remember that um when we went to Friendly's afterwards when she told me I was very red and she goes, Didn't you use the the sunblock? I said, Yeah. Um, and she's, like, pulled, oh, God, she took it out of her bag, uh, her, like, beach bag, and, um, yeah, I screwed up, so, shut up, our lady. So, yes, there was one. Ugh. <sighs> Our Lady, you, you can get me sounding like a crazy person. And I think that's your motive. <laughs> okay? Let's roll. Oh, see now. I forget what... Okay, so let's see what they say. Her trademark dark eye makeup and bleach blonde locks remain unchanged. Speculation arose now in 2017 look. when Pamela appeared remarkably rejuvenated at the Cannes Film Festival. It sparked whispered discussions about possible cosmetic procedures, 
Dr. Marino Gioffoli, a London plastic surgeon, suggested subtle interventions such as a mini facelift, cheek fillers, and forehead Botox. The debate over her appearance sparked interest, but also raised questions about the intersection of aging and celebrity in Hollywood. While Pamela Anderson may no longer be considered the ultimate Hollywood babe, she continues to embrace life with confidence. What Whether a difference. through natural aging or discreet cosmetic enhancements, her journey remains a testament to the evolving standards and perceptions within the entertainment industry. Aging may be a concept, but for Anderson, seizing the moment has always been an unwavering reality. But age is starting to show its relentless onward march in Pamela's life. 18. Lil Kim. This Lil Kim my mind. is a trailblazer in the rap scene. She left her mark long before artists like Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion rose to fame. Despite early musical success, she faced challenges, including a one year prison sentence in 2005. However, it's the evolution of her appearance that has drawn considerable attention. Lil Kim's transformation began around 1999. Ew, she started with blue contacts and a blonde lace front wig. Later, she progressed through various plastic surgeries. Notable changes include a seemingly Look. thinner nose and potential breast implants full of... Oops. Damn it. Sorry. ...that has drawn considerable attention. Lil Kim's transformation began around 1999. She started with blue contacts and a blonde lace front wig. Later, she progressed through various plastic like surgeries. Notable changes include a seemingly... Now, look at this. Look at the difference here. I I'm, I'm, I'm not like being funny or whatever, but um, this, I don't know what it is with the eyes, but she almost looks... Um, like Asian and her skin is a lot lighter than it is here. Is there really uh, such thing as, um, yeah, that's what I was saying. I mean, I'm not being, you know, it, I know Yolanda, I know she was, I mean, beauty now, now keep yourself together. She had a, a too tight face. Okay, I gotcha. Her facelift was too tight. Thank. <laughs> Good gravy. All right, let's go. God. Be beautiful. A thinner nose and potential breast implants, fuller lips, and a significant shift in face. That's. Wow. Okay. A shape by 2010. All of this was accompanied by a noticeably lighter foundation. The most striking transformation occurred in 2016 when Lil Kim shared a series. This is to me the most amazing thing. That's why I put it up on the, um, you know, needed to go up a face size <laughs> our lady she was lovely and just had a f i don't know yeah i don't know what that is and, and fuck yourself up skin bleaching i don't agree with that I she was so cute i know she was very cute uh it, it, yeah, wow and holy shit is all I can say. Uh, this is her? I, I mean, what ex does anybody here, like Perfume Addict, do you know, or uh, maybe Lisa, what exactly is, or anybody, uh, skin bleaching? Like, like, what exactly is it? I know you're not laying in a bath of uh, bleach. Um, not that that would do anything, you know, like that. But uh, I know, Queen Cat Lady, I don't know what this is. 
this looks like like she okay so these were uh pictures i believe that are she posted and then she took down it's like oh here we go it's oh it is a cream sarah it's been around forever it's like a vanish cream people use you're not kidding they're vanishing literally <laughs> Oh my God. I'm glad I didn't know about it when I was a kid. Otherwise, I would have been stupid and wanted to get rid of my freckles. Now I love them. I would never get rid of them. You know, they're me. They're what, you know, who I am. Damn, I, I can't get past this transformation. This is a freaking transfer fucking nation, man. Damn. Okay. Mm. That's, if somebody would have came up to me with just this and nothing else and just said, that's Lil' Kim, and I would be like, the, the little game from this and this and this and who did this song and blah, blah, blah. I would have, and it, I, I wouldn't have believed it. It would be very hard to believe. Like, look, look at this, um, center photo, top row. That hardly looks like her. None of them really do. What am I talking about? All right of since deleted selfies on Instagram. With a paler complexion and bright blonde hair, oh the rapper God. appeared to have undergone skin lightening procedures, sparking discussions about societal beauty standards and self-esteem. In candid moments, Lil Kim has opened up about her struggles with self-esteem, tracing them back to past toxic relationships that influenced her perception of beauty. Like many dark-skinned women, Lil Kim may have grappled with societal pressures equating lighter skin with beauty, leading her to pursue extensive and expensive Ooh. surgeries. Damn, those the sad like thing is that all spiders. the cosmetic procedures have just emphasized that Lil Kim is getting older and that her body is showing signs of aging. None of them have assisted her in holding back the advance of age. 17. Mickey Rourke. Uh, in the early him. days of his career, actor Mickey Rourke was hailed as one of the silver screen's most handsome stars. However, Rourke's leading man status took an unexpected turn. Seeking an outlet for his energy, oh, I was he right. entered professional oh, yay, boxing. Jill was right. This marked the start of a remarkable transformation. Over a few years, juggling occasional acting roles, Rourke endured multiple injuries in the boxing ring. These included a broken nose, twice, a snapped cheekbone, and damage to his ribs and toes. To maintain his screen appearance, especially in movies like Iron Man 2, Rourke turned to quick surgical fixes for his boxing-related injuries. However, the cycle of injury and repair took a toll on Rourke's once handsome face. Despite initially denying surgical procedures, he openly admitted in 2009 that his physical transformation resulted from botched facial surgery, expressing regret for choosing the wrong professional for the job. In an attempt to revive his acting career and regain his former look. Do you notice that he said he puts the blame on, on um, choosing the wrong professional? instead of not doing it at all. Oh God, I know our lady. Uh, that's what my face looks like, that emoji when they said that. Mm. Um. <laughs> Lisa says, oh man, he looks crazy and has for a while. <laughs> he looks so something. Um. Hugh Jass, I agree with that. You know, when you bleach a skin and you're a role, like at the time, at her, at her height, especially height, um, height, you know, her heyday, the height of her career. Um, how, hey, T girl. Oh, it's so good to see you. Um, how do you think? A young, dark-skinned, 
girl, because I know that even um, for a lot of black, um, maybe not just females, maybe males too, I don't know, but I'm thinking from a female brain that when they are very dark, they their self-esteem, um, you, you know, goes down what no matter how beautiful they might be or and or what it doesn't matter but the having your like role model or who something like who you look up to um change their skin color like that that must be not a great ex thing to see it might make you feel worse about yourself you know um it's just yeah making them think it's not okay to be the shades they are yeah well said huge ass well said Salty Peach, Mickey Rock. He looks like Michael Myers now. He looks totally out there, man. He does. I'll admit that. Is that what happened there, Axelot? No, I'm being serious. I wasn't being sarcastic. Is that what happened there? Because I didn't really pay much attention. Um, someone put peanut M&M's in my Easter candy. Is that a federal offense? It might be. Why don't, did they mail it to you? If they mailed it to you, you got to stay on the phone for like an hour with the postal inspector. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. My dad used to do judo tournaments when they went to fix his deviated symptom. They tried to reduce his wide nose. It also didn't help. None of us could tell his schnoz was smaller. <laughs> okay. Rourke underwent additional surgeries, oh, no. including a hair transplant. By 2019, Plastic surgeon Hala Elgmati oh, suggested peach. that his face might be almost permanently paralyzed from constant Botox. Today, Mickey Rourke is the poster child of how not to try to hold back natural aging with plastic surgery. He hardly resembles his previous handsome self. 16. Meg Ryan. Oh, For fans go, of romantic comedies, Meg Ryan is a household uh, name and face. Whimsical? The once doe-eyed blonde began her acting journey in the mid-1980s. Despite her successes, Ryan chose to step away from the Hollywood limelight after reaching her peak. So. In 2019, Gee, she revealed on. feeling burnt out and isolated. This prompted her to retreat from a full-time acting career. So, where is she now? In recent years, Ryan has kept a low profile but she made headlines in 2016 when she showcased a notably different appearance while presenting at the Tony Awards. Her cropped blonde hair exuded glamour, yet her complexion seemed unusually taut and slightly puffy. During a rare appearance at Paris Fashion Week in 2019, observers noted that time seemed to have left her virtually unchanged, sparking speculation about her evolving look. Despite Ryan's past denial of surgery rumors, and her expressed appreciation for the aging process, some experts have suggested potential interventions to slow the aging process. These could include a facelift, upper eyelid construction, and lip fillers. When looking at Meg, it is clear that natural aging will not be halted through cosmetic procedures. If anything, they made her look worse. 15. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin's journey in the spotlight Damn. started at age four on TV. This eventually led to his starring role in Home Alone in 1990, followed by its sequel in 1992. At one point, he was considered the most successful child star since Shirley Temple. But the lingering question remained, what happened to Macaulay Culkin? In 1994, 
Macaulay made headlines by taking a break from acting. He said he wanted a more ordinary life. This decision coincided with a lawsuit against his parents, seeking $17 million and legal emancipation from them at 15. Although Macaulay wow. had minor TV appearances in the early 2000s, the public was surprised in 2012 when photos showed Whoa. a stark departure from his former impish charm. His appearance displayed a gaunt frame, sunken cheeks, and an aura described as homeless chic. Rumors of substance abuse homeless quickly surfaced, chic? but Macaulay denied them. He later admitted to playing with fire, but clarified he never sought rehabilitation. In 2013, he re-emerged by co-founding a pizza-themed... Okay, I'm sorry. What the hell did he say? Um, he was like that because and never went to rehab? Never sought out rehab? I mean, did he say he had a... Um, yeah, that homeless she... <laughs> ridiculous. It was... That's what they said for net, like that it was drugs. Um, okay. God damn, I can't, uh, wow. So he ended up looking better though, again. Comedy rock band, The Pizza Underground, oh, which disbanded in 2016. Like the Velvet Despite Underground. these unconventional musical pursuits, Macaulay seems to have embraced a healthier and happier lifestyle since. Today, Macaulay appears to be on a positive path, far from the concerns that surrounded him in the past. But one thing is for sure, he hasn't escaped the creeping effects of aging. 14. Janice Dickinson Janice Dickinson proudly claims the title of the world's first supermodel. Back in the 1970s and 80s, she was known for her classic brunette beauty, bold red lips, and the impressive feat of gracing the cover of Vogue 37 times. Transitioning from modeling, she took on a judging role on America's Next Top Model from 2003 to 2006 and ventured into reality TV by opening her own modeling agency in 2005. As time passed, Dickinson decided that embracing the natural aging process wasn't her choice. Recognizing she couldn't stop time, she opted for the next best solution, the expertise of the best plastic surgeon available. By the time she appeared on reality TV shows like I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. In 2007 and Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, it was clear she had undergone multiple cosmetic procedures. The former supermodel looked like a distorted version of her former self. However, the consequences were steep. In 2013, Dickinson declared bankruptcy, burdened by almost $1 million in unpaid taxes and cosmetic bills. Her debts included significant amounts owed to Beverly Hills dermatologist Arnold Klein and the Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Center. Admitting to procedures like breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and face lifts, liposuction oh and God. Botox, she earned the title of the worst patient from Dr. Terry Dubrow during an episode of Botched in 2015. Fortunately, two years later, Dickinson revealed a more subdued look at a fashion show in West really, Hollywood. Judy, One can Judy? only hope that this signals a return to Dickinson's roots, a semblance of embracing her natural beauty once more. 13. Yeah, Goldie see, Horn. Goldie Horn decent. exploded onto the movie scene in Beverly Hills Anti-Aging oh, Center, admitting to procedures like breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and face lifts, liposuction, back? and Botox. She earned the title of the worst patient from Dr. I Terry Dubrow do during guys. an episode of Botched in 2015. Fortunately, two years later, Dickinson revealed a more subdued look at a fashion show in West Hollywood. One can only hope that this signals a return to Dickinson's roots, a semblance of embracing her natural beauty once more. 13. Goldie Horn. Goldie Horn exploded onto the movie scene in the 1970s and 1980s with two Academy Award nominations. Oh she my is now God. often recognized as. I loved that stupid movie Overboard. Do you guys remember that? 
I any but I thought that was like such a I used to like that when I was young. Hold on, what's being said here? I forgot. Yeah, that was good. I just can't really remember that it too much, but I remember that I liked it and that I seen it like twice. But it's been years. Um. Yeah. Oh, La Fula. I I just thought it was good. I don't. I just thought it was so um so cool how it it was all her money and she got to um and she left and uh went back wow how come a lot of times it's okay for men oh okay i just uh got you back um i just uh you there's a reason why i didn't see them um and uh it, i explained it I was wondering why I wasn't getting like jack o all from that um, specific box. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Is the mother of the talented Kate Hudson. While Goldie may benefit from good genes, maintaining a youthful appearance requires effort and dedication. As time passes, it becomes evident that the aging process impacts everyone. Once known as the bubbly, you, sexy, girl. somewhat ditzy huh. blonde on the big screen, Goldie has aged badly, and she consistently expresses her deep-rooted fear of aging. Ooh, Goldie's quest for youth and beauty centers on simplicity and hands-on care. Her routine involves gentle face washing, a brief massage, and applying creams before bed, echoing the same process in the morning. She once tried coconut oil and also shared her mother's tip, using lemon juice for exfoliation, an affordable oh. option. Her focus remains on skin hydration and sun protection. Goldie ensures morning sunblock application and stresses hydration through oil-based foods, paired with the power of a smile, a key part of her routine. And while all of that may be true, speculation and reports from various experts have suggested that Goldie might have undergone procedures like a facelift and fillers at certain points in time, despite her fell? emphasis on natural skincare routines. Although Goldie has diligently adhered to all of these anti-aging techniques, the passage of time... Um, okay, okay, lemon juice, her mother's tip for lemon juice, you, I'm sorry, I, I, I know that they say that she put on um, sunscreen when she went out, but lemon juice, um, is, am I wrong in saying that that's insane? to use lemon juice on your face. Uh, I, 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 I just can't believe it. I just, it is salty peach. Oh, awesome. And this turns in. Uh. Well, yeah, well, that might be so, Yolanda, but I wouldn't put it on my, um, on my skin, on my face, uh, no, 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 uh, <laughs> no, oh, Lord, but, yeah, right, and apparently it didn't do that good a job, be uh, Helping her, you know, with her aging, that's for sure. One of the main things I think that people need to do is your cleansing, your, um, and not, you know, we never, don't, don't go to sleep in your makeup, of course. I mean, that's a given. And then also, um, sunscreen cleansing, wait, cleansing, sunscreen, um, and 
moisture, moisturizer, moisturizer. That's, I mean, I, I can't say it enough. That will keep your skin. Um, yeah, I drink one of my, my first water of the day, it, Yolanda, is lemon juice. <laughs> yeah, I must not have turned it on, uh, tea girl. I, you know, didn't realize I had to because it's weird. It's like an app thing. And I had to like, you have to put in different, like you have to make sure there's like a last name. So I, I used somebody in my family's last name um because I didn't want I wanted that to be like my for for you guys or for whatever and so I didn't want my whole you know my real whole name on there <laughs> um I tried to leave it blank but it wouldn't let me okay she jilled it yes I jilled it I jilled it up <laughs> come on T girl you know I had to fuck it up somehow <laughs> yes um and it's really good for your digestion because um i had like a problem and um what did somebody else say about it about the tonic for your liver um that's actually kind of true yeah so um yeah no, I, I just, I'm cool without it being on my skin. I don't really even like to drink it, but I do. Get, I, I get my heartburn medicine ready. You know, I don't want to have GERD. Has unfortunately been unkind in showing signs of aging. 12. Haley Joel Osment. At some point in the 90s, Ooh. it felt like Haley Joel Osment was everywhere on the big screen. He made a brief appearance oh. in Forrest Gump and took on leading roles in cinematic classics I like The Sixth Sense, people. AI, hey, and Soft. Pay It Forward. Osment's success was undoubtedly fueled by his adorable persona as a child actor who else could effortlessly pull off a bowl cut and actually make it look half decent. However, like many child stars, Osmond experienced a decline in his acting career as he navigated adolescence and adulthood. The former child actor seemed to disappear from the public eye. This prompted fans to acknowledge the considerable changes in his appearance since his youthful years. Notably, Osmond has transformed, including putting on weight and experimenting with a substantial That's beard. Him? Beyond the shifts in his physical appearance, Osmond faced it's personal struggles dealing with you demons such it. as drug and alcohol issues. Like many child actors, he assumed aging was the main reason he wasn't getting parts. And face it, he hasn't aged well. 11. Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker is widely known for her iconic role as okay, Carrie... Okay, first of all, not every actor and, and or actress is great looking. Let's be honest. Yes, they get to be the stars sometimes, especially men, though. They will, but still get to, you know be the stars of movies or shows or whatever and not be so great looking women a little bit different it does anonymous patriot i will check that out and it's so good to see you soft reset um and the thing is it's like um when I'm sorry. Oh, that guy, I don't think, all right, he didn't age great and it got worse. Um, but how many times do we see in a movie or a TV show now uh, a guy who's playing, I don't know, let's just say the, a mechan the mechanic guy that you talk to or the guy that works somewhere, I don't know. I'm just making shit up. And they're not the best looking. They look like normal people. Um, especially like in movies. So it might have nothing to do with his looks per se. It could be anything, you know? Oh, that's about how much? Like a shot? Because if you don't tell me, you know, you never know. I might <laughs> drink it a lot. Um, oh, I missed you. I hope you... Oh, thank you. 
I took a little break. I had an emergency, medical emergency, and um, I then I had to, you know, get pay. I had to recover and stuff. So, yeah, you leave for a little while, and that's it. They for everybody forgets you. No, YouTube forgets you, not you. Um, hit, uh, Soft Reset, she always would do this, so I'm going to put it up. Hit like, member up if you like, send Jill a spicy cash app. It's just Jill22 and her signature, this is Soft Reset's signature black hearts. Put black hearts in the chat if you remember. <laughs> Oh God, that shit used to kill me. So, oh my God, remember that movie Splash? <laughs> what do you mean me say that? Oh, I put a, spl a splash of vinegar in my green smoothies. I'm looking for a good green smoothie recipe. I mean, I'm they're all over the place, and my even my blender had has a bug. Uh, right, soft reset. Exactly. Exactly. And it's gotten, it went crazy, and then it's gotten kind of quiet, and people are actually doing streams on shit that isn't filled with, um, you know, drama and talking about other creators badly, you know, for whatever fucked up reasons they have and I think you all know that I'm not talking about um you know what I'm not forget it let's, let's just forget what I just said <laughs> move on um yeah but no it's a it's been pretty quiet you know um and uh Belinda did a great stream on the the uh the Pentecostal I believe guy uh, who ended up going to jail that was that was good uh, that was a you know it was not it, it was cool to be able to watch Belinda and um it be like she I like I love her so all right let's go Bradshaw in Sex and the City. Before stepping into the fashion-forward shoes of Bradshaw, Sarah had an extensive background in Broadway, including a memorable portrayal of Annie. As a young child star, Parker transitioned to film She's roles, great. appearing in movies like Footloose and Hocus Pocus. When she began filming Sex and the City in 1998, she still exuded the fresh-faced charm of a young actress. Oh However, God, over the years, was... Parker has faced scrutiny for not aging as expected. The press there. has particularly focused well, on her slender appearance and stress lines on her face, which some attribute to challenges in her personal life. This oh, includes God. reported infidelity by her husband, Matthew Broderick. She even earned the title of the least that sexy woman in the world by Maxim, a label that <gasps> undoubtedly presents its challenges. 10. Corey Feldman. Hold, Corey Feldman is a your, name etched in the memories of hold every age. Hold your ass. Am I crazy or did she look, um, oh, we're just going through a quote unquote celebrities who have aged badly. And I wanted to jump into um, some of the, uh, I have these plastic surgeries that went completely bad. So before that, we'll do a couple more minutes of this and then we'll jump into to that. But um, my am I crazy or does Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker look beautiful? I know, right, T-Girl? And, and look at him. Nobody says shit about him. And he um, he looks like shit. But uh, to me, that was mad. I almost didn't even recognize him. And Sarah Jessica is a absolute... Um, let's see. I think she's more of a fashion icon than a beauty queen. I, I, yeah, her fashion is the bomb. But, um, 
she was beautiful. I don't understand because she got a couple people are are commenting because she has a couple of lines on her face, like, you know, smile lines and stuff. Isn't that what happens when you've smiled in your lifetime? Oh my god, she didn't run out and have I don't know, her skin pulled back like, I don't know, Joan Rivers until there was nothing left to pull. Um, I, I just don't understand how, and then to call her the most unsexy woman of, in the world? Are you kidding me? She's 55 or 55. <laughs> Wim, I've missed you. <laughs> Where's Wim? But am I, um, oh, she's 60, Frenette? Wow. Yes, she is, Lisa. She is chic and beautiful. And for 60? Oh, no, I'm sorry. How dare they? But let me tell you something. Al Pacino looks like total crap. Yes, Freddie McDonald. Oh, that was good. That's good. That's what he looked like. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, Matthew Broderick looked like he wanted to sell you a Buick. <laughs> a Buick, no less. <laughs> <coughs> yes, Yolanda. You know why? Because... She speaks up. She'll always speak up. Whimsical Mimsy's the sweetest thing, but she will speak up. Sorry, I, I had it. <coughs> my Diet Coke went down the wrong way. Aww, Whimsical. Um, yeah. He he did. He looked ridiculous, but they're and they're talking shit about her. Can you imagine? Can you? All right, moving on. He's kid. He made a lasting impact on the era through his roles in iconic films like Stand by Me, The Goonies, and The Stand Lost Boys. As a teenager, Corey also had good looks. This attracted a significant following, with many young tweens developing crushes on him, especially during his frequent collaborations with co-star Corey Haim. However, seeing Corey today might be surprising for those who he remember him as a looking. teenage heartthrob. He hasn't aged well. The actor has undergone a substantial transformation, particularly since facing challenges and falling out with Hollywood. His current appearance reflects the toll of a challenging period in the limelight. In the aftermath of his experiences, Corey has shifted his focus towards denouncing child sexual abuse within the entertainment industry. This commitment to advocacy has taken a toll. Apparently, according to um, Corey Haynes' mom, a lot of the shit that he said in his documentary about her son, Corey Hang, that was bullshit. Um, yeah, so Corey Feldman, apparently, no wonder he fell out with like everybody. Um, <clears throat> I'd also like to know where his lips are, but that's for another subject. Um, he doesn't seem to have any. Uh, I was never that much of a fan of his, even if I go back to like when I was very young, very, very young. And they, I don't know if anybody remembers that, <laughs> I, I know, Salty Peach, where the hell are they? Um, <coughs> that show, I know Belinda doesn't care, but she really did well on that stream. Her intro is great. How about old gal make something that is not AI? Is that what that says, AI? Oh, okay, yeah. Hello, BGTV, how are you? <laughs> he did something with his lips, that's for damn sure. Because they ain't there. 
Now, if anybody needs lip injections, but see, he doesn't have lips to inject. I think that's the problem here. But my God, um, I just have to say this. That picture that they showed just before this, he where he had that ridiculous like bow tie and whatever, and his chest was showing, he looked like an old, out of work, wa washed up porn star. All he needed was a mustache and job done. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Leaving him looking tired and washed out. Despite the dramatic changes <laughs> in his appearance, out. Corey Feldman remains resolute Maybe in using his platform to shed light on important issues. Nine, Frankie Muniz. Frankie Muniz was once the leading actor in the hugely popular series, Malcolm in the Middle, I but he found like himself somewhat show. of a one-hit wonder. Playing the titular role in the show, Muniz what charmed audiences kids? with his cheerful smile and bright blue oh, eyes. Yeah. He gained acclaim as a highly talented actor and even Fine. secured an Emmy Award as a child actor. However, the all-encompassing nature of the role led to Muniz being forever associated with the character of Malcolm. This association became challenging for him, prompting Muniz to step away from Hollywood. Instead, he shifted gears, making a living as a drummer and open-wheel so racer. How does the he transformation look bad? in his appearance is nothing short of remarkable. Getting older is clearly not his thing. Muniz has what? experimented with unconventional hairstyles that may not necessarily suit him. Oh, Beyond the changes the in his outward appearance, the former child star has faced severe health concerns in recent years. A series of concussions and seizures resulted in Muniz struggling with memory loss, to the extent that he can't recall filming most of Malcolm in the Middle. Aww. Despite the challenges, Muniz continues to navigate life beyond the spotlight. Hey. Okay. Now they're just getting ridiculous. Let's move on now to um, the uh, surgeries. Okay. I know, Amber Chick. Now they're getting picky and ridiculous. He looked fine. He looked like, what did they expect? Uh, them, him just to be taller and bigger and look like the way he did and Malcolm in the middle? I mean, stop. Stop. Okay. Oh. Oops, I almost did it. I almost did it. Mm. Okay, yeah, because I thought we'd start here. Fourteen. Michelle Williams. All Michelle Williams wanted was a simple vision she later regretted so. and had removed. Her openness about these experiences, oh, featured lips. on shows like The Doctors and Bethany Frankel's talk show, sheds light on the complex relationships individuals develop with cosmetic enhancements. 14. Michelle over. Williams. Why is it going All Michelle back Williams like wanted that? was a simple nose job, a I'm routine not, rhinoplasty that turned anything. into a nightmare, leaving the British woman fighting for her life. Oh In August 2020, the 46 year old English teacher underwent the procedure at the academic hospital in Istanbul, Turkey, seeking oh. what she thought would be a straightforward cosmetic enhancement. Uh -huh. However, Shortly after the administration of general anesthesia, she suffered a cardiac arrest, leading to seizures that lasted for hours. Michelle's family, who rushed to her side, found her in critical condition with a brain injury caused by a lack of oxygen during the surgery. The complications extended to pneumonia, and she now relies on a feeding tube. Her family, grappling with the emotional toll, is suing the hospital for negligence. The cost of the procedure, approximately $4,590 or €4,250, pales in comparison to the physical and emotional toll on Michelle's life. This tragic incident sheds light on the risks associated with medical tourism, emphasizing the importance of thorough research and considering the potential complications, even in seemingly... In all honesty... It is a lot of people in the U.S. will go to, say, Mexico, okay? Um, I guess people in the U.K. will go somewhere, um, I don't know, somewhere on the continent, but usually, like, Eastern Europe, maybe Spain, I'm not sure. I, I, but they do it because it's cheaper. It's so much cheaper. But if something goes wrong, 
you're not going to get the same care in Mexico that you're going to get here. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless you're going to one of those uh, places that would be just as expensive as or almost just as expensive as the U.S. And it's like, well, what's the point of that, right? Um, and, and some go completely fine, and, and most do. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't take my chances. I really wouldn't. That's just my opinion, though. No, I didn't get uh, a BBL in Mexico. I got it here. No, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, because I'm doing this whole sub so reset. Yeah, I'm doing this whole stream standing up, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Lesson, that's the lesson, oops, sorry. That's the lesson of the day. Don't run to other countries for cheap surgery, kids. <laughs> All right. Oops. Let's see. The routine surgeries. Michelle's case is unfortunately not isolated, <laughs> as more than 300 match. people in the UK have faced severe consequences after seeking plastic surgery abroad in the last four years. But what countries? 13. Cement cheeks. Have you ever heard of someone having cement in their face? Oh Meet Raji Narina Singh, a 48-year-old oh, transgender right. woman who Raji. faced this shocking reality after black market injections during a pumping party in 2005. Injected with tire sealant and cement party? by O'Neill Ron Morris, a self-proclaimed toxic tush doctor, Reiji's quest for beauty turned into a disfiguring nightmare. The dangerous injections led to large lumps forming under her oh, cheeks, lips, and chin. Unfortunately, fear of judgment uh, and mistreatment you, prevented Raji from Have seeking been, help from uh, the police or reputable riding, medical careful. professionals. Many transgender individuals face challenges in accessing proper health care, leading them to vulnerable situations where unscrupulous providers take advantage oh of their God. desperation. Raji's journey took a positive Look, turn Shelby. when she sought help from renowned plastic surgeons Dr. Terry Dubro and Dr. Paul Nassif, featured on E's Botched. Initially turned away in 2015 due to potential risks, the doctors eventually devised a conservative and thoughtful plan to address her oh. disfigurement. Through a series of procedures, Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif <laughs> okay, successfully good. removed the cement lumps from Raji's face, granting cement her the transformation lumps. she had long desired. 12. Barbara Eden. This Once enchanting amazing. television audiences as the she iconic genie in I Dream of Genie, Barbara Eden remains a timeless beauty that has left many wondering about the secrets behind her age, defying appearance. Born in 1931, Three. Barbara's radiant and unblemished skin in her 80s has sparked rumors of plastic surgery, prompting questions about the actress's journey with cosmetic enhancements. The most discussed speculation revolves around the absence of visible aging signs on her face. At an age where wrinkles are expected, Barbara's smooth complexion has led to conjectures about potential procedures. One often suggested intervention is Botox, a common choice for smoothing wrinkles. However, the actress doesn't exhibit the telltale signs of Botox, such as an overly shiny or wax-like appearance. Another procedure under consideration is facelift surgery, known for addressing sagging skin, a typical aging sign. They this procedure could like go horribly wrong was... and make people unrecognizable. However, Barbara's face doesn't show the characteristic tightness associated with facelifts, adding a layer of mystery to her ageless beauty. The scrutiny extends to her chest, where the norm is a degree of sagging with age. Remarkably, Barbara's choice of dresses reveals a seemingly youthful bust that defies gravity. Do you believe this star has undergone aesthetic enhancements, or is she simply adept at maintaining a timeless look? 11. Ooh. Laura Avila's. When love leads to What do you guys think? Do you think Barbara Eden was actually is just somebody who through genetics and through whatever she does 
to her skin. Um, and like I said, genetics. Um, do you think that she uh, maybe, you know, <laughs> it's sad as fuck to go against the Grim Reaper losing battle. <laughs> Um, I, I just, I can't, I, I just can't figure it out. Maybe she did have a little bit of, um, Botox, you know? I don't know. That, that's what I think too, T-Girl. And she probably has, uh, really good genetics. Did, her skin was, um kept up her care, you know, well, whatever she did, and, um, probably some really good and subtle surgeries. You're, you're right. Because when you start to have too many surgeries, it becomes very, very obvious. And, um, everybody could tell. Tragedy, it's a stark reminder of the perils some face in pursuit of beauty. Laura Avila's journey for cosmetic enhancements in Mexico turned mama. fatal, resulting in severe brain damage and eventually claiming her life. In the quest for affordable procedures, many are drawn to countries like Mexico, where initial costs are lower, creating a thriving industry. Avila's case illuminates the risks involved. Seeking rhinoplasty and breast implant replacement, she suffered cardiac arrest during anesthesia at the Reno Center in Ciudad Juarez. The alleged negligence, placing anesthesia incorrectly, triggered a cascade of complications, brain swelling, kidney failure, and cardiac arrest. Her tragic story prompts reflection on the challenges of vetting international medical services. Fiance Enrique Cruz, devastated by the loss, now seeks justice. While love led them to Tulum for a planned wedding, it's there that Avila's ashes will be scattered. The ocean, where their love bloomed, will serve as a final resting place. Enrique, determined to pursue legal action against the alleged perpetrators, hopes to ensure accountability for what he deems criminal actions. Mm. 10. Jocelyn mm. Wildenstein. Catwoman, the enigmatic Jocelyn Wildenstein, continues to defy rumors about her plastic surgery journey. The 82-year-old Swiss socialite, renowned for her ever-evolving features, oh recently took to social media to share a throwback photo from her teenage ballet classes in Switzerland, She's challenging pretty. speculations about surgical enhancements. Despite widespread speculation ah! and photographic evidence suggesting various procedures over the years, Jocelyn adamantly maintains... Oh my god, am I, am I wrong for, to saying that that was frightening that was a frightening picture that was frightening <laughs> whimsical <laughs> is this the, that famous cat lady yolanda you're right yolanda said those surgeries are not enhancing. They are transforming into a new person. Absolutely. And I still go back to that woman that um, Salty Peach um, showed us. And uh, she's like in every one of these plastic surgery shows too. But not as far. Um Let me, it wouldn't go through? I, I don't know. I, I have no way to find out. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't think so. Well, um, if you if it's possible for you to use the the cash app, I guess 
if you still want to do that and I'll try to see if I'm having a problem. That is odd. But thank you. Thank you. And thank you for trying, um, you know, a few times. Uh, I appreciate it. Okay. Um, kinky. I know. Whimsical Mimsy is just too much. She's too much. How could she end up on the, the fuck off forever um, thing? Oh, I'm so mad about that um, thingamajiggy. If anybody has tried to send me a... Um, wait, what did you... Hold on a second. Where... Okay, she did say so. Your usual, I love the, the, she loves three numbers at the, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Bastards. Oh, I got a new comment. Oops, there we go. I'm just a mean old bitch, what can I say? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, but you think, yes, that was sweet. Um, my soft reset. That picture was so freaky deaky. Jesus. Ugh, it frightened me. That she has never undergone plastic surgery. What? This peculiar denial resurfaced in 2018 when she asserted to Daily Mail TV that she remains untouched by cosmetic procedures, claiming she was perhaps more beautiful in her youth. Jocelyn's fiance, Lloyd Klein, stands by her side, insisting that she has retained her natural beauty. Her nat Lloyd, her a fashion natural professional, expresses admiration for her unique allure, emphasizing that she possesses qualities rarely found in other women. The socialite's cosmetic journey allegedly began with an eye lift, performed simultaneously with her then husband, Alec Wildenstein. I agree However, this with initial that procedure too, marked the onset of her fascination with altering her appearance, leading to a series of interventions. Interventions? Nine, but I Yulia thought she Tarasovich. never had any. Imagine an operation that goes so wrong that you can't close your eyes afterward. Right, Yolanda. That's exactly what happened to Yulia Tarasovich, a 43-year-old Russian beauty queen whose pursuit of cosmetic enhancement turned I've into a plastic her. surgery nightmare. Yulia, the runner-up in the Mrs. Russia International Contest, wow. opted for a facelift blepharoplasty or eyelid correction and mini liposuction at a clinic in Krasnodar. However, instead of subtle enhancements, her face swelled, oh. leaving her unable to close her eyes oh. or smile. Yulia subsequently filed a criminal complaint against the doctors responsible. The physicians, Andrei Komarov and Omar Khaled, argue that a rare genetic condition, Lindsay. scleroderma, led to the complications. Scleroderma causes skin hardening and can impact internal organs uh. due to the immune system attacking connective tissue. Yulia disputes this claim, stating her previous surgery went well without any genetic abnormalities. The botched procedures left her with scars and functional impairments, necessitating additional yeah. surgeries to so, salvage I her eyes so from necrosis. Despite spending $25,130 or 23,300 euros on corrective measures, Yulia accepts she won't fully regain her pre-surgery appearance. Patriot, Eight, Anastasia Pokreshchuk. Oh, Anastasia Pokreshchuk is, is the woman with the world's biggest cheeks, captivating social media with she her extreme so transformation through now. cosmetic procedures. Oh, Hailing from Kyiv, Ukraine, Anastasia recently shared a throwback photo, revealing her unrecognizable she appearance so before pretty. undergoing a series of enhancements. In the comparison, her 27-year-old self, adorned in a casual flowery top with minimal makeup, stands in stark contrast to her current 34-year-old persona. Anastasia's dramatic change includes <laughs> hot pink hair, bold makeup, 
enlarged lips, carefully chiseled cheekbones, and a more defined chin. With over 93,000 followers, she sparked a debate among viewers who expressed yeah, mixed opinions. Page. Some yeah, praised her unique look, while others favored her more natural appearance uh. in the earlier photo. The model began experimenting with face fillers at 26, starting with lip enhancements uh. and Botox on her forehead. Patsy Since then, she <laughs> has lost count of the numerous procedures, spending thousands on face fillers alone. Beyond her distinctive cheeks, Anastasia opted for dyed hair, veneers, and a breast enlargement. Uh. 7. Lynn May Lynn oh. May, born oh. Lilia Guadalupe Mendiola Mayares, captivated the hearts of audiences in Mexico and Good Latin America gracious. during the 1970s and 1980s as a vedette, exotic dancer, and actress. However, as the inevitable effects of aging crept in, Lynn May sought the rejuvenating touch of cosmetic surgery, marking a significant turning point in her life. The decision, driven by societal pressures and the fear of aging, led Lynn May down a regrettable path. Seeking solutions for a facial abnormality she was born with, she fell prey to the promises of a cosmetic procedure gone horribly wrong. In a misguided attempt to preserve her youth, an amateur injected baby oil into her cheekbones, unleashing a series of disastrous consequences. The aftermath of Lynn May's ill-fated cosmetic oh, journey dear, left her nearly God. unrecognizable, with nearly. a face altered by procedures aimed at correcting the initial damage. Photos circulating widely depict the profound changes she underwent, transforming her once natural beauty into a face with disproportioned features. 6. Michaela Romanini. Uh, when it comes to the pursuit of eternal youth, the world of celebrities well. often becomes a fascinating yet cautionary tale. One such story unfolds with Italian socialite Michaela Romanini, whose journey through plastic surgery has become a noteworthy narrative. Like many stars, Michaela embarked on the quest for ageless beauty, but the consequences were far from There's the desired no effect. Thing. From a young age, she dabbled in various cosmetic procedures, with lip collagen injections uh. becoming a particular favorite. These injections, intended to enhance her lips, ended up taking a drastic turn, resembling more of an obsession than a beauty regimen. The video yeah, above like and photo comparisons vividly depict the profound impact of her plastic surgery journey. 5. April Brown Thank The only thing so worse than unresearched that. plastic surgery is DIY plastic surgery. Meet April Brown, DIY. a living testament to the perils of seeking shortcuts to beauty. In 2010, April opted for cut-rate silicone injections from an acquaintance <laughs> to enhance her buttocks. Little did she know that this seemingly simple procedure would lead to a life-threatening ordeal. Injected with industrial-grade silicone, uh. the kind used in bathroom cork, April uh. experienced severe complications. Her buttocks hardened, discolored, and necrosis set in, causing excruciating pain. Rushed to the emergency room with a staff infection, oh, April underwent God. 27 surgeries, including the amputation of both hands and lower legs. April now equipped with prosthetic legs, shares her story as a plea for caution. She urges prospective patients to research and educate themselves before undergoing any cosmetic procedure, emphasizing the importance of... She went... God, poor woman. She went... is going through, went through all of what she went through because she wanted enhancements to her butt it is is that what happened here oh yay my thing does work <laughs> it works yay <laughs> thank you then for your comment um soft reset <laughs> thank you yolanda um I appreciate you and your support uh, for my channel and me. I really do. I I always get so, I don't know, emotional over a suit. <laughs> so funny. But thank you so much, Yolanda. Really, I appreciate it. Um, 
BBLs are so dangerous. Yes, I totally agree with that. Oh, I could put, hey, um, Yolanda, I could put that towards, I don't know, my BBL. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Can you imagine finding out, though, that you were injected with, you know, concrete? You know, we were talking the other day about, no, don't, right, right. Don't let anybody cock your butt either, poor lady. I know. Cement, uh, the stuff they, oh, God, for your bathroom. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, wow. Um, imagine, yeah. And I bet you it, the, the Axolot, I bet you the bum is, uh, very, what do you call it, like, um, lumpy and stuff. Oh, God. I have a good funny vid about BBLs from a comedian puppeteer. I can drop the link. Oh, definitely. Yes, drop it. What, Dr.? looks at clunk and is like yeah this will make a nice ass exactly they're not a doctor what these people are doing is they're going to like underground people you know oh yeah i i do this for a living you know i do the injecting so you know i can do you know they I do some from my house on the side for cheaper. Why should they have to pay all that? You know, that kind of crap. Like like uh, Matthew Broderick selling a Buick. <laughs> Whoever said that. Yes, that's what it's like. Um, all right, let me just hit that link on my thing here for a minute. So I get it in my history. Okay, I will probably, it's only six minutes, so I will probably put that on before, like, before we go off. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jesus. You know, and these people really, I mean, because, you know, the thing is, like, like somebody said, didn't they used to have Botox parties? Yeah. Now, I heard one of them say we were having a, a, a what did they call it? A pump up, a pump party or something. What in the hell is that? You know? To pump up your ass, to pump up your cheeks, to pump up. To, oh, my Lord. All right. ...of FDA-approved fillers administered by trained medical providers. Four, the living cartoon. For real, Sophie. Imagine transforming your body to resemble your favorite cartoon characters. Pixie Fox... A model with a penchant for Disney-inspired aesthetics spent a whopping $120,000 or €112,000 on plastic surgeries to achieve her dream look. Inspired by the curves and tiny waists of characters like Tinkerbell and Jessica Rabbit, Pixie has undergone numerous procedures, including a nose job, eyelid surgery, brow lift, lip fillers, cheek fillers, four breast surgeries, uh -huh. a Brazilian butt lift, permanent makeup, and the most controversial of all, removal of six ribs. Pixie Fox's <gasps> quest for extreme proportions led her to the risky procedure of rib removal, a dream she had long harbored. While many surgeons, especially in the Who United States, shy away from such surgeries due to associated risks and ethical concerns, Pixie found a qualified surgeon willing to perform the unusual operation. Currently boasting a 16 inch or 40 centimeter waist, Pixie, with her unwavering determination. Um, that doc, so called, uh, doctor?
He literally, he looked like a used car salesman that keeps a bottle of liquor in his drawer or a flask or something. Because um, I, just looking at the guy, I wouldn't let him touch me. Um, there was, I think I told you guys, and I saw a picture of her. Well, I know it's got to be her. Um, the, they call her the human Barbie. She literally had, but she only had, one, I think, so two rib, like one on each side. She, two, she um, wanted to look like a Barbie. Then she went on a diet where she just drank air. Then she... I mean, it breathed. She just so basically nothing. <laughs> okay. Also, she re would not smile. No way. And she was very creepy. And she had been so pretty, so pretty. And her uh, sister came. She they were from Ukraine, but she was living in Mexico. So her sister came to visit her, and they went out to eat, and of course she didn't get anything. Um, she did go back to having to drink water and stuff because air wasn't going to do it. And um, her and her sister, there was a picture of them at the booth, and oh my god, the sister looked just the way she used to look, but with darker hair. And she looked really creepy. She creeped me out. Um, the, she didn't want to smile. She didn't want smile lines. Just what people do to, for, I mean, what this woman, the permanent makeup, that gets me. Because sometimes you want to change your makeup. No, Sofri said, I haven't seen the human Ken. I'm, I'm shocked there is one because usually, well, you wouldn't really have to go through too much, like, you wouldn't have to have your ribs taken out, um, out of a horror movie. Oh, God, I'm going to look him up. Um... But what the the makeup, the rips, what doctor would remove when their right minds, uh, clearly I don't think he is, would um, do that. Say, okay, I'll remove six of your ribs. What the hell's left? Oh, God. I just can't. I mean, th that's like vanity is totally taking over. You're completely obsessed, lady. You, you're creepy. Freaky deaky, that's for sure. What is that? Oh. All right. ...aspires to break the world record of a 15-inch or 38-centimeter waist. Her dedication to achieving cartoon-like dimensions goes beyond rib removal. She already wore a corset 24-7 oh and now God. can cinch it even tighter. Despite her numerous surgeries, yeah, Pixie her Fox sees her. more opportunities for enhancements. Her future plans include hip and butt implants. Although she has faced criticism for her extreme transformations, Pixie emphasizes that she isn't <sighs> encouraging others to follow suit. Instead, she wants to convey a message of daring to be oneself and pursuing dreams, whatever okay, they may be. Now she's looking. Three, Hang Miyoku. Many claim that plastic surgeries are like drugs, but they make you addicted right, to them. Yolanda? This might hold Jesus. some truth, as exemplified by the story of Hang Miyoku, a former model from Korea. Hang's obsession with achieving smoother and softer skin led her down a perilous path. Her journey into the world of plastic surgery began at the age of 28, and she eventually moved to Japan for repeated treatments. However, her fixation spiraled out of control, resulting yes. in her face um. becoming noticeably enlarged. When doctors refused to perform additional oh, surgeries due to the alarming changes in her appearance, Hang, driven by her addiction, took matters into her own hands. Well, you, you Determined to inject smoother? more silicone, she resorted to using a black market bottle. When that ran out, 
Her desperation led her to a shocking decision, yes, injecting Yolanda cooking oil into her face. Real. The repercussions were severe, leaving Hang permanently disfigured. Her face became swollen and scarred, prompting her appearance on Korean television. Strangers, moved by her plight, donated thousands of pounds to fund corrective surgery. Over the course of 10 operations, oh. surgeons removed 2 ounces or 60 grams of silicone, oil, and other foreign substances oh from her God. face, and 7 ounces or 200 grams from her neck. Jesus. 2. Carol Bryan. Carol Bryan's oh, journey so through the realm of cosmetic... I just want to say... Um... Where so soft reset here said so South Korea is the worst, right? I was actually going. That was one I was gonna do was South Korea because um, I I was started to watch something on it, and um, I didn't get a chance to go through it yet or whatever and uh, all that. But um, yeah. I was going to do the South Korea thing because they really, they, you, they're obsessed. Yeah, they're very obsessive about it. Cooking oil is used often by underground filler parties. Oh, God. If somebody said, hey, you want to come to my filler party? I would be like, click. No. Uh, no, uh, by underground, it fucks them up every time. It, oh, God. I mean, you're taking the chances you take when you, like, DIY it, you know, basically, or go to somebody who's not, you're not in, like, a surgical type of setting, you know, uh, you don't know what you're getting injected with. You're really not. And, and you really don't know. It could be anything. Jesus. Scary as hell. Filler parties. The procedures turned into a harrowing tale of devastation. What began as an aspiration to enhance her facial features with dermal filler injections took a nightmarish turn, leaving her unrecognizable and permanently blind in one eye. At 47, Carol's quest for a more youthful appearance 47? led her to try fillers in 2009, unaware like that a combination of two different types, including silicone, 60s. had been injected into Late her forehead 50s. and cheeks. The aftermath good, was though. beyond her worst fears, her face distorted, <gasps> swollen, and unrecognizable. Despite frantic attempts to rectify the damage, Carol's appearance continued she to worsen, like turning her life into a living nightmare. Desperation led her to contemplate suicide, withdrawing from the world and allowing only her daughter to witness the devastating transformation. Seeking help from a craniofacial expert in 2013, oh. Carol underwent complex surgery, resulting in irreversible damage to her optic nerve, leaving her blind in one eye. Multiple surgeries, including skin grafts and a partial facial oh, transplant, followed. Today, at 58, so Carol precise. grapples with extreme self-consciousness, having lost hope for romantic relationships. <laughs> one, Brunette. Tara McConaughey. And down under in Melbourne, oh, Tara Jane, of... Australia's human Barbie, is making headlines again with her latest extreme look. The 33-year-old, renowned for her $200,000 or €185,500 face and body transformation, oh confidently strutted through the city, the showcasing her surgically enhanced features after reportedly undergoing another nose job. Her in a colourful fur coat, Tara made a bold statement revealing a surgically enhanced cleavage in a low-cut top paired with leather trousers. Oh the nurse, often dubbed the human Barbie, has accumulated an impressive list of cosmetic procedures, that including five breast augmentations, six nose jobs, and multiple rounds of Botox and filler. Having appeared on E! Uh. botched and Todd Sampson's Mirror Mirror documentary series, Tara embraces her role as an upgraded limited edition Barbie doll. Despite her numerous surgeries, she remains on a quest for enhancement, expressing a desire for even larger breasts. What? However, her pursuit faced a setback when doctors on Botched 
deemed her weight dangerously low for larger implants. You Tara, suffocate. with a striking 37-inch or 93-centimeter bust, 17-inch or 43-centimeter waist, and 29-inch or 73-centimeter hips, sees no limits to plastic surgery's possibilities. My jaw is Unfazed, like open. she plans to increase her breast size to 1,500 cc from the current 1,050 cc as uh, soon as travel restrictions was ease. What is your opinion on plastic <laughs> surgery? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, yours if you'd like was. to see more videos that <laughs> we made, click it. on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching. There's no such thing, guys, as inappropriate laughter on 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 here on my in my land. Um, my land, I mean, my what am I doing? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now give me guys, give me one second because I want to it, put that six minute um, thing on that um, soft reset uh, dropped. <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh my God, godless and lipless, our lady. Okay. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. Boop. 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 Is this on? Yes, on. How many people we got up in here? <laughs> Nine. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Look, y'all. I just want to come on here and formally apologize to everybody from the bottom of my heart. Everybody who got sick off the plates they bought for me last week. I promise y'all I ain't know that fish was bad. I promise you I didn't. I'm sincerely sorry. What is that? Keisha, I told you not to buy that seafood from Walmart when I saw you in line. You ain't listen. Okay, okay, you did. You you did. But that fish you gonna be good though, I swear. But look, let me tell y'all about my newest business venture. I just opened up a BBL recovery house. <laughs> if you are in the Atlanta, Memphis, or Birmingham area and plan on getting the BBL, come holler at your girl for all your BBL recovery needs. Here at Two Real Recovery, Thank you we so not only specialize in BBLs. But Lipo 360, Tommy Tucks, and Mommy Makeovers. We run a multi-room facility to accommodate all your needs. So if you need that recovery, you need me. <laughs> Keisha, do Section 8 know you running the business up at your house? This is Section, ain't no Section 8. 8. I ain't no Section 8. What are you talking about? <laughs> what you all got from here? Say that's locked. Shoot. Sure. Now that we got that hate up off here, let me show y'all what the facility look like. Come on. As you can see, she got the BBL procedure. Ah. Yeah, that thing's sitting right, ain't it? Yes, ma'am. You know Baby girl, you gonna be able to put a drink on that thing when you get through. <laughs> I promise you that. And it's nice and fine, nice and tight. Girl, shut up. Oh. Ooh, that ain't hurt you. Oh, That's God. Not be quiet when I touch Diet you. Diet Coke. <laughs> As y'all can see, that thing nice and firm, nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Two real recoveries. Come see about us. Get it right. Keep it tight, baby. We here, we, we here to help. Well, let me show you how the other patient. Come on. All right, y'all, here go another one of our clients. She recently just had a tummy tuck. So you see she got her waist trained on. Baby, baby girl, turn over so they can see. Uh-uh, I don't want my face in there. Girl, ain't nobody finna show your face. Turn over. Shoot. After a few days, she's going to be able to permanently remove this. We take it out periodically to clean up and make sure everything is nice and neat. She got that thing tucked in there, baby. Her results will be excellent because she came to the right people for the right job. You gonna turn back over to her. Shoot <laughs> out. Why is it turning over that fast? When you mess up them stitches, you're going to be in pain. Y'all hard-headed. Shoot. Her results go real good. Reset. I promise you that. I'm, I'm going to show y'all something going after us. LinkedIn. Baby, you got a hole in these tights. Turn y'all. Come in here and get this girl some new tights. Baby, we don't do, we don't do no tights with no holes in them. Now. This is a yeah, link to that you. channel. Like, you know, we, 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 we back. Over, over here at uh, two, two real recoveries. Baby, we go ahead and you looking clean. 100% of the time, now. Yeah, we got to get.
gotta get we gotta get baby girls some new tights. And put some lotion on them feet while you at it. Turn your put some lotion on her feet while you at it too. <laughs> them feet crusty as hell. Oh right, y'all, so we're gonna go in the other room and let me show y'all what we got going on. And y'all as we go down, remember this is a two-story facility now. It's we still have two stores, baby. Two stores. You can't make it up the steps. We can get to you down at the bottom. Remember that. We provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of our clients. So we got this gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the fresh chips and the, and the uh, Capri Sun juice. 100%. 100 juice now. Because you, you need, we, we, we got to eat healthy. Oh, my healthy. Lord. Oh, we, got, we got one of our <laughs> highly requested house favorites, the chicken and rice. Yeah. Oh, oh God, it's green beans the with the chicken feet. feet. And you a slice uh, of bread. No. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you come over here and throw you some Tabasco or some Louisiana hot sauce. Yes, from new, that, that's new, true. Feet. Baby, they go, they go here every time now. That Louisiana and Tabasco go get you right every time. Keep, oh, you Jesus. Told you that. All right, y'all, let me take y'all back upstairs so y'all can view the rest of the facility. All right, y'all, I'm back. As you can see, we got everything you need to put you back on your feet. So y'all need to come holler at us. What they say? Keisha, what kind of certifications you got to be helping people? Baby, I got all types of certifications. <laughs> I got my CNA license from um Everest College. Oh my God, You see the bug on the wall? <laughs> Keisha, Everest College closed down three years ago. That ain't accredited no more. But baby, they got my money. They got my money, so they credited. They got <laughs> my money, so they credited. You know what? Let me block you, because you always got some negative to say, too. Block. Block. Keisha, do your recovery house got roaches like your regular house? But, but, my, but my house ain't got no roaches. My house ain't got no roaches. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Keisha, turn around. It's a roach on your wall right now. Uh. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> well, there's the link uh, right there if you guys um, want it. And it's in the chat. So, um, Soft Reset dropped it in the chat. That was awesome. <laughs> that was funny. I'll give it that. Um... Yeah, thank you, Soft Reset. Yeah, that seems like a funny uh, channel. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you, and um, uh, thank you. Uh, please hit, please hit like. I, I really, uh, you know, gotta get my stuff back out there. I, I swear. It's uh, it's rough. <laughs> it is. But, you know, I like doing this for fun and I like to see my um my people, you know, coming in and having, you know, a good time in the morning and um I it, I want my notifications to go out all the way, you know? Okay, guys, have a really great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.